Hey everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Amazon's Lambda service. Um, if you're not familiar with Lambda, it's a capability that Amazon provides that lets you run code in a variety of different languages, Python, Java, JavaScript, without provisioning or managing servers in the backend. You only pay for the compute time that you consume um, with these specific services that you set up. One common use case that customers face is that they front their Lambdas with Amazon's API gateway. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily bypass Amazon's API gateway calls to Lambda using MuleSoft. Before we jump into the, the demo, um, this is just a diagram from Amazon's documentation that shows kind of the general flow of fronting an AWS Lambda with Amazon's API gateway. So when a user makes a request, Amazon's API gateway will handle that request, trigger a Lambda on the back end, and then the Lambda can call any of their services in the back end or handle that within the code itself. It could be Amazon SNS, it could be a DynamoDB, it could be CloudWatch, but the idea is that uh, in today's common scenario or common setup, they users have Amazon API gateway in front of Lambda. So what I'm going to be showing you in this demo is the ability to replace that API gateway with Mule and make calls directly from a Mule application or proxy uh, directly to an Amazon's AWS Lambda. Okay, so before we jump into the MuleSoft piece, let's look at a Lambda uh, in Amazon and also look at the API gateway that's set up. So this example here, I have a simple uh, Lambda that's written in Python, and essentially it's gonna receive a JSON payload, map that to a node, and then return that, that message back. So in here, we can go, go ahead and test that. I have a test um, payload that I'm sending it, and it's gonna go ahead and map those fields accordingly, and then also add it to um, a parent node here. And then additionally, I also have an API gateway set up in front of this, right? So in addition to calling the Lambda directly from uh, this test environment, I can go ahead and call this API endpoint. Um, we can jump over to API gateway here and see that endpoint here. I'm gonna call hello world. If we drill into this specific endpoint, we can see that it's making an integration request to a Lambda that I've set up. If we click through here, we can see that it's calling a Lambda function and then the Lambda function itself is hello Lambda. So if we jump over to Postman and we go to that endpoint and click on send, you can see that here is the result set back from the Lambda after we make the call through the API gateway. Additionally, if we go back to Lambda here and make a change directly to the code, let's go ahead and say, uh, change the return message to say user example and then we save this if we go ahead and make the call again from Postman, you can see that it's gonna go ahead and have that updated response back from the Lambda. So Amazon uh, AWS Lambdas does make it easy to kind of write your your uh, function in a language of your choice and then uh, you know deploy that and have that up and readily available to call from whatever service, in this case, uh, the API gateway. So from a MuleSoft standpoint, what we can do instead of you having to make the, you know, front your Lambdas with uh, Amazon's API gateway is that from Studio, you have the ability to actually make a call directly to that Lambda function. So in this simple flow that I have set up here, I'm using a connector that I created. Um, it's an AWS Lambda connector and it provides two operations. One allows you to call the Lambda function directly and then the other operation allows you to list the available functions. So you can call list of it, list Lambda functions first, You know, get that specific Lambda function you wanna call and then pass that, uh, that function name to this component. Uh, within the component itself, you just need the AWS secret and key and the region for your uh, AWS lambdas. And then once you have that in here, within your flow, you just pass in the function name as well as the payload that you're gonna pass to the function. And then additionally, in the component before it, I have a transform message component that's gonna take the object uh, from my request, map it to an object that I'm gonna pass to the lambda function and then in here, we can make any changes, right? Transformation, enrichment, orchestration, but in this case, I'm gonna do a straight pass through for now for this first example. And then the output from this result is just gonna take the payload from the Lambda and then spit it out in JSON format. So this flow is currently running. If we go ahead now and switch over to Postman and then make this request, you can see here's the payload that we're gonna pass in, make the request. It's gonna go ahead, make the request to the Lambda directly, and it's gonna bypass the Amazon API gateway, make the request to the Lambda, and then the, the response from the Lambda will show up here uh, back in the MuleSoft flow, okay? 
And then additionally, of course, you can see here, if we go ahead and, and make some changes in here, uh, we can go ahead and add some text, right? So we can go ahead and say Mule, click on Save, right? Again, the benefit of leveraging MuleSoft is the drag and drop environment where you can easily click and configure and add additional um, you know, data from other sources into your flow um, without having to write any custom code. So if we go now to Postman, we make a request again, you can see that it changes that request right, that we made to the Lambda and then returns that payload back from the Lambda function, okay? So what I'm showing here is the implementation side. MuleSoft again provides a set of you know various components as well as connectors to platforms like Salesforce, SAP. You can also call databases and file systems. But you can leverage that data from those specific sources and also integrate that with your Lambda functions. Another benefit of using MuleSoft in AnyPoint Studio uh, in the platform itself is the ability to leverage our API management capabilities as well. So with this within this flow right now. I've also gone ahead and added an API auto discovery component. And this allows you to tie this specific flow to an API that you've set up within our API management. And because this is already up and running and it's tied to that API, we can switch over to our API management platform. And you can see here's the, the, the API that I've set up in here and it's currently showing active because that's running. If we drill into this Lambda example or this API, um, that I'm managing here, you can see that I can also apply policies directly to this specific flow. So in this case, I've gone ahead and applied a rate limiting policy. This policy is only allowing three requests per minute. So we go ahead and click and close and jump back into Postman. If we go ahead and try to make more than three requests within a minute, it's gonna go ahead, apply the policy and let me know that the quota has been exceeded for the specific request. So in addition, within the platform, right, you have the ability to bypass the API gateway that Amazon provides, and you can make calls anywhere within your Mule application, right, within within any flows. Um, and then on top of that, you can leverage MuleSoft's API management platform to apply similar capabilities that Amazon API Gateway provides in terms of policies, SLA tiers, contracts. But this allows you to expose your a Amazon uh, Lambdas as APIs. So you could build a fully functional REST API with a series of Lambda calls throughout the, the API and apply specific API and service governance policies on top of that to ensure you have full control as well as visibility into how users are leveraging these APIs as well as the lambdas underneath, okay? So uh, in the project that I showed you today, this Lambda connector, uh, this isn't currently available in the exchange, but there is a version that you can actually download from this GitHub repo and I'll leave the URL uh, to this repo in the comments below. Um, but this connector allows you to uh, easily make a call into Amazon Web Services Lambda. Um, you can download this repo or this, this project, um, change the POM file, publish it into your exchange, and then add that into your AnyPoint Studio. And again, all you need is the access key and the secret and uh, the region, and you can pull down your list of functions and make calls directly to them directly from your Mule flow. Um, and then this connector itself, again, one of the benefits of the, the MuleSoft AnyPoint platform is that we allow you the ability to write your own connectors. In this case, this connector was written uh, using the MuleSoft uh, SDK, uh, and it essentially wraps the Amazon Web Services SDK for Java. And then in their SDK for Java, they have interfaces for Lambda. In this case, I'm in calling the invoke operation to make a request to that uh, Lambda service, and then the result I'm returning back within the flow. Okay. Thanks for watching the video today. Uh, if you have any questions or run into any issues with the connector or with the specific flow, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always happy to help.